Um, Demon Hunter got their cards revealed today. Uh, Demon Hunter cards were revealed pretty spread out, so I'm just I don't like doing all their I like doing all the videos at once, so this is gonna be late for a lot of these cards, but whatever. Um, Blind Eye Sharpshooter. After you play a Naga, deal two damage to a random enemy minion, draw a spell, then switch. Three mana, one five Naga. Uh, in Wild, I don't think Naga Demon Hunter is gonna be that great. All things considered, I think that I think I will play it personally because I like Demon Hunter and I like you know aggro and tribal synergy jumps like that. But I think this is just like significantly worse than Spite Lash Siren in every possible way. And then like a lot of the Naga stuff, Demon Hunter has already been nerfed like with Satheno and Predation, so it's hard to imagine this card being very good. Uh, I'll give it the unplayable just because I don't think it's good really. Load the chamber. Three mana, deal two damage. Your next Naga, Fell Spell, and Weapon cost one less. So, uh... If this card costs two mana, it would be, like, pretty good. You know, it would be net mana positive, all that. But because it reduces a weapon, which is pretty useless... Uh, the Naga and Fell Spell, yeah, that's good. Especially with the card I just talked about, but... Reducing the cost of a weapon doesn't really do anything, especially in the context of, like, the context of, like, this Naga Demon Hunter that we're talking about, where you're, you just want to have a lot of cards to pop off with the, bull, the Marksman card, or whatever it's called, the 3-drop. So I don't think that this card is very good. It does it also, like I'm saying, it just kind of doesn't synergize fully with the Naga 3-drop, uh, mainly just because of the fact that it's of the weapon like this card definitely you play it with the three drop that's not a question but i don't know just uh, the whole archetype just seems kind of like a little bit too weak to be playable in wild personally so i don't think this card sees much play uh parched desperado two mana battle cry if you're if you cast a spell holding this give your hero plus three attack this turn two mana three two naga so i don't i mean this card is obviously going to go in like a naga demon hunter I think this card can just go in generic face Demon Hunter if, like, it's possible to play in Wild. It's like Serenite Shambler, or, yeah. Serenite Shambler, but it's one less attack from the Battle Cry, but when you do it, you only have to play one spell, so you don't have to, like, wait to activate it. Uh, this card definitely, of the three so far, seems like it's the best, but, again, I don't really think it. many of these cards are going to be playable in Wild whatsoever. Um, Oasis Outlaws. Discover a Naga. If you played a Naga while holding this, it costs one, or reduce its cost by one. So, say, you play Parched Desperado, then you play this, then you discover, I don't know, School Teacher. Then School Teacher will cost three. Uh, this card's not bad by any means. It's a, it's a fine, decent card, especially with, uh, actually, is it on here? With this card, with Blind Eye Sharpshooter, it's a fine card. I just, again, I don't think these cards are that great. Like, the package just seems a tiny bit too weak for a while. Just, like, one or two buffs in the package could be good, namely on that three mana spell. But, yeah, it's just a little unfortunate. So I don't think this card sees very much play in a while. Snake Eyes, three mana, two, three Naga, Battle Cry. Roll two dice, then discover two cards of those costs. Doubles get an extra discover. So what it is, is it just has a bunch of dice. See these? So you'll roll, if you roll a 1 and a 1, you'll get two 1 mana cards, and then you'll get a third chance to discover another 1 mana card, which is it's Snake Eyes, yeah. Uh, this card seems pretty mediocre. Like, I don't really... <sighs> I don't really understand the purpose of this card. Like, I get that it's, like, a lot of value from a three-mana card, especially, but, like, you're not playing this in Wild ever. It has bad stats. Um, like, maybe you could play this. I don't know. It just, it's also, like, not specific in what it gets you. It just says six-mana card. So it could get you a weapon, a spell. It could get you Kurtris, the hero card. It could get you minions. Uh, it could get you, like, a location or something. If you roll it the right way but like it's really really random like really random you have like a 
what is it, a 1 in 6 and the 1 in 6, you have a 1 in 36 of getting an extra card, which is, like, never something you plan for. Uh, you know, this card's just not very good in Wild. <sighs> Maybe if it was 2 mana, it would be a lot more interesting for Wild, but I just don't know why you would ever play this card. It seems pretty bad. Bar Tendo Bot. 2 mana, 3, 1, mech. Battle Cry, draw an Outcast card and slide it to the left side of your hand. So, in theory, this card would have been good with Questline Demon Hunter if they didn't print Gaslight Gatekeeper. If they didn't print Gaslight Gatekeeper, you would you would consider this card, but Gaslight Gatekeeper is just way, way, way better in every possible way for Questline. That this card just, like, won't really see any play in a while. Maybe if they ever make Mech Demon Hunter, you'll play this card. But... There's just no reason to ever play this card. It's pretty unplayably bad. Uh, Midnight Wolf. 6 mana, 6-6 six, six Beast. Rush. Outcast. Summon a copy of this. So that's a lot of stats. Like, a lot and a lot of stats. If they ever make, like, Menagerie or Hand Buff Demon Hunter, this is, like, the perfect card for it. Uh, I kind of wish this was a Hunter card, all things considered. Right? Like, it seems kind of out of place to be a Demon Hunter card. And if this was, like, a Hunter card and that was, like, you know, Death Rattle or Battle Cry or something, you know, like, this would be a really good Hunter card, but... And Demon Hunter, I don't think you're ever playing this in Wild, like, ever, ever. Just, it doesn't fit with anything else Demon Hunter ever wants to do. I, I don't really under... Sorry, I'm yawning, I took a nap. I don't really understand the purpose of this card for Demon Hunter as a class. It just seems unplayable in Wild. Uh, Fan the Hammer. 4 mana deals 6 damage split among the lowest health enemies. Um, so, when it came to Fel Barrage, right? Which was deal 4 damage, 2 damage to... Or deal 2 damage to the lowest health enemy twice. Fel Barrage was 2 mana deal 4. So, it was, it was more damage than average. With, which was to make up for it being not consistent, right? Fan the Hammer is 4 mana, deal 6 damage, split among the lowest health enemies. So this is worse than Firewall. And it's worse than, like, a lot of spell. There's a lot of 3 mana spells that do, do something similar to this, where they, like, do damage randomly split among enemies. That, like, there's a, a couple in Warlock that are, like, 3 mana, deal 5 to, low, to, to minions. And... There's a uh, Cinderstorm and Mage that's 3 mana deal 5 to random enemies. This is hitting minions, is the thing. Like, like Fel Barrage, because it's so cheap and it's a Fel spell, you can, you know, use it with, like, Jace or, you know, clear their minions or something to make this work. This card just is bad. It, it should at least, it should say 8. Like, if it said 8, it would be interesting. But the fact that it says 6, it's just... It's just really, really bad. I don't see any reason to ever play this card whatsoever in Wild, especially. Even in Standard, this card looks like te terrible. So I don't think you should ever play this card. Ever. Uh, Pocket Sand. Two mana, deal three damage. Quick draw your opponent's next card costs one more. Uh, a lot of you know that I really hate Frostbite, and Frostbite just, like, pisses me off as a card. This is, like so much worse than Frostbite. Because... I I just... It's... It, it would at least have been interesting if it was quick draw, your opponent's cards cost two more, so it would be more comparable to Frostbite. It's still worse, because Honorable Kill is a lot easier to activate than quick draw. Like, significantly easier to activate than quick draw. But this card's just bad. It, it, it's... It has two reasons to be worse than Frostbite, and Frostbite already only makes sense in, like, even Shaman, so, like, I don't get why you would ever run this card whatsoever in any Demon Hunter deck. Like, unless you could somehow guarantee the quick draw, like, with Questline and, like, Gaslight Gatekeeper and stuff like that, then maybe. But there's just no way to make this really work that well. And consistently. So I don't think this card sees any play in wild. Whew, okay. This is a card. 5 mana, 4, 6. Legendary. 
Gunslinger Kirtris. Battle Cry. If your deck has no duplicates, fire six random two shots or six random two damage shots at enemies, minions, and or at minions in the enemy's hand. Jeez, I can't talk. So if this just said fire six random two damage shots at enemy minions, it would be a good, it would be a fine card. It'd be a pretty powerful card, right? Because it would be stronger than Reno the Ralicologist, and yeah, that would be fine. It would be just one mana better. And one man cheaper and two more damage over Reno the Relicologist, which would be good to make this card really good because Reno is kind of too slow right now, honestly. Even in Reno Mage, I'm not, I don't like it very much when I'm playing Reno Mage, but this card doesn't do that. It does the damage to minions in your hand, so it's a tech card. Why is the Highlander card for a class, the only Highlander card for a class, a tech card. That just seems like a clear misunderstanding about how powerful a Highlander card has to be by Blizzard for it to make sense to play Highlander or, like, Reno in your class. Like, how do I say this? Zephyrus and Reno are really good cards, yes, and it makes you want to play something like, you know, you can play like Reno Warrior, and Re Warrior doesn't have anything, right? But Demon Hunter has significantly less cards than Warrior as a class, or like all these other classes that don't have a Reno card, that it can't really get away with just shoving in, you know, 20 good legendaries, because they don't have that, they don't have all these good cards. So this card had to be really good for Highlander Demon Hunter to be playable, and this is, like, probably the worst Highlander Legendary. It's worse than the Shaman one by, like, a lot. If it just said deal two damage to, to minions on the board, it would be a fine card. So I don't really get what they were thinking with this. Or if it said deal six damage to two... Ra to, or deal... Shoot six two random shots to random enemies. It would be a good card, right? But it, it, I don't understand. And I don't understand why it has to be minions in the hand. That just doesn't make sense. What if they don't have minions in the hand? You're just playing five mana four six. Do nothing. Like maybe if like it, if it didn't have a target, it could hit the enemy hero at least. I don't know. This is just like a really big design fail by Lizard. And, like, I honestly, I would be ashamed if I was Blizzard trying to print this card. Anyway, it's unplayable and wild completely.